Ah, we are in the second episode of today's adventure at the North Pole. Um, a beautiful Christmas escape, and we're in the uh, in the Elf Cave. <laughs> so we're looking at uh, something called uh, uh, Elf Girl One. She's very pretty, but she's 26 prims, and I couldn't afford her. I don't know how I would ever find uh, enough space for her in my place. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to... Get rid of that, and then let's see about... Yes. Mother, you take a seat here. We'll see what seats we have available. No room to sit here. Well, that's lovely. There. Oh, we've got all sorts of things going on. Okay. Sometimes it's not good to have a um, an alpha, which makes your dress fit. They could have arranged it so that the alpha did not extend all the way down to the ankles. Let me see. Okay, well, we got activities. What sort of activities? Well, how about if we press the activities key on laptop? Okay, but no, these are single activities. We'll go to couples, arm around. Make him adjust, quarter down. <laughs> please like, please subscribe, never forget to always remember every time a notification bell rings, no man gets his wings and you get to see more of my videos. So give me a big thumbs up, hit the red button, hit the red button. And after you subscribe, ring a dingling -ling little bell. And don't forget my Patreon, that's only a dollar. And <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of ticklish in my throat. Um, I'm getting better, actually. If I get some interest in what I'm doing, I shall do more. But I <laughs> don't have the budget. Okay, so let's soothe. Calm. And who's calming who? Comfortable. I don't like that. Be calm. I, yeah, I'm not uh, a particular fan <coughs> of this seat. We are on the uh, love. Rosemead Folly. Ah, it's a folly, as you would find in a Victorian garden, such as in merry old England, where people could starve by the wayside. That one. As I was 
sand where people could starve by the wayside while the rich had their little tete-a-tetes. My pet. The last one was my pet. <laughs> Number four, this is my pet number five. Then we have an arrow key. Once I get my cough drop open up. Crinkle, crinkle. Memories. That's not bad. She is oddly enough too low. It's looked like they have set it for the um, the wooden base instead of the um, the cushion that she's on. So she could be put, put, placed a little bit higher up. He's, he's most likely exactly right because he's he's never he's never right. So every clock, you know. It's always right at least once a day. That's pretty. It's pretty pretty. You can get a hat just like we are wearing by going to my house. Uh, you'll find that in the Second Life URL. And you just need to find the lady who will give you the, uh, the key to the house. You follow that. Just like you did to get to my place in the first place. And it's in the house. The house and the ballroom are connected by a magical bridge. You'll enjoy it. Okay, so we've seen memories. Now this is Snuggle, then Soulmate. I'm not a believer in soulmates. <laughs> Thought I found true love, and she wanted another, and another, and another. Zen. Nonetheless, in spite of the disaster that she was in my life, I'm glad I had her. Okay, it goes back to armor round. And that's a couple. How about Cud Precious? So one Cud Pre. The more standard. That's cute. <laughs> Is this funny cuffs? And they're just numbered one through six. Final one on this tab. 
<laughs> Let's go back some. Now, as, as I've been saying, she's a little bit too low. If she were 10 centimeters higher, this would work. Okay, now. Bend to cut M. Allows us a sequence, but I don't really want to take the time to wait for that. That's cute. In fact, I think that she is is correctly positioned now. I'm only adjusting his position because he thought always definitely needs it. I usually allow the uh, uh, the game to determine her position because she's almost always right. But if I owned it, I would I would adjust them both until uh, I had the position as I wanted it. Here I think she's too low again. You see that her her dress is passing through the um, the mat that they're sitting on. I think that she's she's uh, uh, scaled to the the platform. The wooden platform and not the mattress and these again are just numbered one through six with their special name their code name oh So we went from one cave to another cave. We've had ourselves quite a day. Okay, now we'll go back again. And this is sequence color precious and sequence Bento cuddle. No. Okay, well that's all there is there. So we'll stand, mother. Father's menu, and you can stand him too. If you can stand it. I think I went through a wall. There's a piano. What's this over here? Oh, there's a unicorn. A little Chinese house, like a bird feeder or a, uh, just a there's a statue here. Oh, another bird feeder. There's a bird here. Yes, it takes us back to that bed. So we're not going to go that way. Also, I'm not going to give you a close-up of the uh, fairy ladies because they're very tempting and very cute and just too, too much for you two. So we're out here in the wintry climate. We're climbing the hill.